<laughs> Alright, hi folks, welcome to another Minion Masters video. Dude, do I have a spicy one. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I was doing kind of crappy on the ladder. Uh, a little bit below average. And uh, I hit uh, Saga. Uh, this this player, he's pretty high rank uh, legend right now, I think. Or Grandmaster, I mean. I think he's like 23rd or something. Let's see. Let's see. I thought he... Thought he was on there, or maybe he's like, uh, maybe he's only master. I don't, I don't, I don't know what he's saying. He's, he's a good player though. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, I hit uh, Saga, and he's playing um, this deck right here. So it's a Setsu deck, but it runs the Void Altar, and Setsu and Void Altar are like a two card combo now that they lowered the cost. And uh, the deck actually works pretty well, man. I just won the last, like, three games with it. Because I was pissed after I lost it, right, on, on High Master. And so I was like, dude, I have to put this thing together and see if it really works. And uh, I had such fun playing it, I wanted to show it off a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so genius. Genius. <laughs> you put together a cool deck, man. Very unexpected that the Voidborn could be, or Void Alter could be uh, actual uh, playable, you know. <laughs> See, I, uh, I was like kind of on just doing all right streak. You're like win lose. Oh, this one's a little better, I think. But um, anyway, we'll uh, we'll show off the games here. So I played one with it and lost the first game. I lost. So I went three and one. But uh, there's Saga right there. Alright, so anyway, uh, I guess this FEB. And, and the one I lost, I got him. Actually, I can show the one I lost, dude. The one I lost, I should have won. I just wasn't paying close enough attention to my base. And he ended up um, using that uh, spell where you summon the uh, skeletons to, like, kill me at the end. We were, he was at 35 life. So if I just paid a little more clo close attention to my own health, I thought I was fine. I'd put a cannon roller back there, but I didn't pay enough attention. Oh, wait, we're on the wrong side. And the cannon roller actually got overwhelmed by the um, double. He doubled up on the summoning the skeleton spell. So, so it should have been four now. If I had been a little bit more astute on the, uh, the game. <laughs> so, so I do think it's the real deal. It uh, it looks like a real, a real solid deck to me. And I just played uh, oh, I, I, I just in case he had lightning bolts, I wanted to play um the crossbow guys first. And that's kind of one thing that I was worried about um with this deck too. Since it's a two card combo, you wait for the eight mana and then you cast the setsu to get like a a dude, you know. Um that like lightning bolt might disrupt it and uh the, the last game i play i play against a guy that ru is rocking two lightning bolts so you get to see how that that works out you just got to be a little more careful because <laughs> yeah the dude with the lightning bolts just like sitting on the lightning bolt like come on baby play that altar you know <laughs> I'm, like chomping his lips <laughs> So, so here's our two card combo. <laughs> Which I could, probably could have played crossbow dudes instead. And then you can run the rammer to get the uh, whatever. But the, luckily the shadow well got it himself. And now we use the rammer to get the other one. Oh, actually we, we killed this guy first. Actually, do we even use the rammer? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and, uh, this one is officially over. <laughs> Blue is victorious. Uh, void altar in, in, uh, in solo. <laughs> we did it. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you another game. 
Ah, oh, Saga's a genius, dude. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a card that I like way too much, so I'm glad that uh, <laughs> there's a deck you can actually use now. So I'm messing with it a little bit more today, just to make sure. Um, you know. <laughs> but it seems pretty good. Alright, and uh, we get a rage quit from JD at the end of this. <laughs> Either that or drop, I don't know. Like, uh, like the last like three, four days has been about as sketchy on here as I've ever seen it. So I'm not sure what's going on with... Um... <laughs> but uh, there's definitely been a lot more drops than there normally is. I was starting to think that I was on the Gwent, uh, the Gwent site. <laughs> Gwent, Gwent has a ton of drops. Alright, so we have our Void Altar, but we don't have our Setsu yet. We now have our two card combo. <laughs> and he, he plays the defensive chopper here, I think. Oh wait, no. Okay, that was never mind. That wasn't uh maybe that's later. I thought he played a defensive chopper to like stop the um, the dudes from getting it. <laughs> so, uh, we got all three, uh, of our void altar, <laughs> goodness, <laughs> and we're just, uh, doing, chunking them for damage. And I think this one might have been a legitimate rage quit, because I know I was pretty pissed when I lost to this deck the first time. <laughs> Well, the first and only time, but, uh... <laughs> the new meta. <laughs> Alright, so we have our two-card combo. <laughs> mission, mission accomplished, dude. Two-card combo. And, uh, gotta play the cautiously guys quick. There it goes. <laughs> and I think I just resonate Crystal Blast uh, here for the, the win. <laughs> there we go. We <laughs> I gave him a GG even though he'd already left the game. <laughs> Alright. So, the last one here. versus Mars. Alright. <laughs> I guess we could show it from his point of view because uh, he's the one that has like the double lightning bolts I think so like he actually gets a, a lightning bolt off of me so we'll, we'll watch it from Mars's point of view. His deck looks pretty greedy that's for sure. I play a defensive chopper. All 
Alright, yeah, and he runs a double lightning bolt. So we play the crossbow dudes and the cannon roller to deal with that. With the... And here's uh, the first blowout with the lightning bolt. <laughs> so I was like, oh, dude, do we finally meet our match here? <laughs> So I know on the other side we're kind of just waiting because we know he's like sitting on lightning bolts. We're trying to get our combo off here. So I wanted to get more dudes out on the field is what I was uh, trying to do. <laughs> Double lightning bolt in hand. <laughs> I play crossbow dudes. There, I play something. There it is. The bats. <laughs> all right. So we have mission accomplished. Uh, we got all three uh, <laughs> things going on here. So we did take a lot of damage. And uh, his lightning bolt gets our used void altar. <laughs> yeah, the good thing is I have like um, quick answers to a lot of the stuff he's doing. There's Void Alter. <laughs> we're, uh, we're doing it. <laughs> we are doing it. <laughs> and, uh, here's the third one. Which I think gave a Shadow Ult, probably. There it is. And the healing puff is like going like crazy. It's doing a good job. There's another void altar. <laughs> and it had already automatically spawned a uh, incubus. So yeah, man, I uh, I dig the deck, man. And it's spicy as hell. <laughs> and if I let's see if I got time here, I'll add. Um, I think I'm gonna add. All right, so there was this game I played earlier with Kuro's deck. Um, and it was kind of cool. It like outvalued a, um, a, a pep like value deck, like with the, the, the future present and future past, uh, might be a little too long to, uh, <laughs> to play on here or not, but let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. where's it, where's it? Uh... Oh, it's this one. Yeah. So let's see if we can get it on here. 
Masters, get ready. I'll do it from our point of view. It's on. If not, if it ends up being a little too long for the video, I'll uh, make it a separate video. Um, then it's like, it's like my player, I don't have the OBS. I have like a, a thing called <laughs> ice cream or something. It's a, like a dumb dummy player because I couldn't get the OBS thing to work. <laughs> so uh, I can't do quite as much stuff as uh, some of the other people can. Eventually I want to try to switch over. I want to like, um, you know, be do be able to do explosions and stuff on my videos. It's <laughs> the main thing I want is explosions. All right. So um, now this is Kuro's deck. <laughs> so if you remember, it was the last stand and. Uh, you know, Shark Strike Twins and uh, all that jazz. And unfortunately, I totally messed up that last stand. I should have played last stand right there. And he's totally got both of his value cards already, I think. Um, which one of them was a Hypnotize. He got a cheap Hypnotize. So what, Hypnotize is normally for. I think he had a three mana Hypnotize and a, um, I believe the other card he gets is uh, Scott the Sensitive Savage for three mana, which is, uh, both are disgusting. <laughs> and I mess up on the last stand there. Like for some reason, um, uh, it was like, I, my guy had changed it back to blue briefly, or you know, whatever. So like uh, when I was about to play it, it was red, and then it got changed back to blue. So I ended up, um, you know, getting only five guys instead of seven. And there's the three mana Scott the Sensitive Savage, <laughs> which is disgusting. So yeah, like one of the best dudes you could have got for for the future, whatever future, is it future present? I think it's future present. It's the bigger one. So we are a little bit up on experience, though. <laughs> but uh, I don't think that holds for very long. Because he has such cheap... Uh... <laughs> and this chain lightning kind of saves, uh, saves us here, I think. <laughs> So, yeah, at this point, I was getting pretty frustrated. And I for, for sure tried to hold for the last stand here. <laughs> this is probably the best Scratillery in the history of Scratillaries. <laughs> and that, um, the Spirit Infusion was actually for the, the last stand guys, but they got wasted before it, for, uh, <laughs> you know, it went off. <laughs> Double warrior to keep to take the bridges. So now I'm actually below on experience. for the Sharshank twins, but I think I split them so the, the hypnotize doesn't affect them. Mm, 
defense is, you failed. And uh, here I, I uh, go for the dragon. <laughs> and he, he last stands to uh, actually uh, oh, it hits the warrior and the base. I don't know if uh, that hypnotize is the greatest hypnotize though. And unfortunately, I thought the chain lightning was going to save uh, the sniper, but it doesn't. <laughs> and then, fortunately, uh, not a lot of the, the stuff there is locking the dragon down, but it doesn't do a lot of damage to him. And, uh, like a champ, he blocks out all the damage on the other side. <laughs> And more, sh more twins. <laughs> and what are, so we're like neck and neck on experience right now, which is cool. Like the succubuses he has a really hard time dealing with. And that 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 hypnotize was not not terrible because it was just uh, the can it it was just a couple skeletons. <laughs> so pretty sweet. And these chain lightnings, man. Like, since most of the stuff in this deck, like, dies to the chain lightning, we're pretty awesome. <laughs> Keep splitting the twins. <laughs> now, I really like uh, Kira's deck. I actually uh, was just doing all right with it. Um, I think I was like 50-50 with it this morning, but uh, I, I do dig it. It's a really cool deck. And so now we have Mana Frenzy. We got it. Um, he's 13 points away from Mana Frenzy, so I was like desperately trying to keep him off Mana Frenzy. But the, the push over there I knew was just like, if I threw any dudes in front of it, it would just be sacrificing the guys. So unfortunately, I had to let him get that experience over there. And now he is... One point away from Mana Frenzy. There he is. He's in Mana Frenzy also. <laughs> so we both are <laughs> trying to get past these bridges here. And that's the kind of one of the one of the things I wanted to show about this game is I've never had a game where everything just stayed going on in the middle for like the longest time. Like we basically our whole game is like in this middle area for like a few minutes because we both have like endless amounts of mana and endless dudes. That was a pretty good hypnotize there. I, th I just started putting down uh, the skeletons of skeletons to a spirit infusion too, because I wanted to just keep putting the pressure on for the bridges and whatnot. Because as long as you control the bridges, you actually uh, get your mana back faster too. So I wanted to make sure that I, I was keeping the bridges longer than he was. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> I think I changed lighting here. So I'm like starting to sneak damage in very slowly here. He is Apep, so it's uh, taking forever. <laughs> Though what's crazy is I I would never think that you'd beat out like a three mana Scott the Sensitive Savage, but it's actually uh, it's actually happening. <laughs> So, uh, I think he, uh, I think he throws in the towel here in a couple seconds. <laughs> Not quite yet. What sucks is his healing buff never can get, you know, since we're just fighting in the middle, the healing buff never really gets anything going on. <laughs> yeah, I think he just gives up here. He doesn't play anything else. There it is. So that is the crazy game I played earlier this morning <laughs> with Kiro's deck. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm probably just going to grind out some more with that... Um, uh, uh, was it Void Alter deck and, you know, <laughs> mess around with it a little bit more. I uh, will uh, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.